Welcome to week four's tutorials on uh, Visual Basic. Um, so last week in the Excel videos, at the very end, we um, when we were recording macros, we learned a little bit about the code that is generated. And there's a programming language embedded in Excel called VBA. And you can actually get to the code and tweak it and um, learn how to uh, do some computer programming while inter interacting with Excel worksheets. Um, so let's go ahead and um, this first tutorial is just an overview about um, the infrastructure of how to add the developer menu to the um, to your Excel system and then how to insert a module to begin coding, um, how to create your first program, how to save the file, and then how to kind of get back and forth between the worksheet and the VBA code. Um, so to do so, let's just start a blank file in Excel. So I'm going to click on Excel and I'm getting into just a blank workbook. And as you know, when you get into a blank workbook, um, Excel just dives you into a blank spreadsheet that it, and the workbook is called Book One. Um, so before we do anything, we need to add this developer item. You only need to do this once. If you did this back in the macro worksheet um, tutorial of last week, you're good to go. Um, if you work on campus, those uh, systems refresh themselves every time you log out. So you have to add the developer every time you use it. So to add the developer menu option to the ribbon, you go to File, Options, Customize Ribbon, and then there's a, a checkbox over here for developer that you would check, and then click OK. Um, you only need to do that once, and then the developer is always out there. Um, so the next thing I want to do is learn how to insert a module or go to VBA. So your code in the developer menu, um, if you click on this VBA button or Visual Basic button, it takes you out to this blank screen. If you had any code, it would show you what you had already um, entered. But to get into a blank screen to begin coding, you can click on Insert and then Module. And then you get this white screen where you're allowed to just begin typing. Um, programs or macros in um, VBA begin with the word sub. So I'm going to type the word sub and then I'm going to name this hello world. And you always have to, there's parameters you can enter to go along with the, um, in this class we're always going to leave them blank, but you have to have an open and close parentheses. And when you hit enter it automatically adds an end sub. So everything in the hello world macro will be between the sub and the end sub lines of code. Um, and the code is executed in order from top to bottom. Um, so I'm just going to add one line of code here. There's a command called message box that just shows a pop-up window. And I'm just going to put in quotes, quotes, hello world. I'm hitting the tab key to indent. Um, it's kind of a rule of thumbs where you try to make the uh, the code visually easy to read by indenting at certain times. Um, so now if I hover over the Excel button at the bottom of my screen, I can toggle back and forth between my main Excel spreadsheet and if I toggle back um, if I hover over the Excel icon, I can click back over to the code. But they're the same file. So if I click Save here um, in the VBA window, I'm saving the worksheet. If I click Save um, here in the, in the workbook, I'm also saving the VBA code. So they go hand in hand together. The VBA code um, for book one is saved um, along with the Excel workbook just like any other worksheet or content is. Um, so let's go ahead and save this workbook. So let's click on File, Save As, 
and um, I'm just going to save it in um, in my documents folder. And you notice by default the type is Excel workbook. Um, Excel workbook generically does not support macros or um, VBA so we have to change the file type to Excel macro enabled workbook. And I'm just going to call this week four tutorials and save as a macro enabled workbook. So now if I go to macros just like we did when we recorded a macro, our list of things that we've recorded, or in this case, coded, are available. So I can click on Run here, and, I, and it executes the message box, Hello World. So I think we've done everything um, required of the, of the first tutorial. When we get to the second tutorial, we're going to see a, a large VBA file and get an overview of the different pieces of it.